We are live. Hi, guys. We get up here to the screen so I can shut off the volume. Yeah, I need to do that on mine too. Opens up. Yeah. As soon as it pops up, whenever it pops up. <laughs> you know, that's one of the reasons I start early. Because it takes like five minutes to get started. Right. You've got to go through so many hurdles. It, it It's insane how many hurdles there is. We have a new song. There, there it is. Okay. Got it. We're live. We're online and there. Hi, guys. Hey, everybody. Uh, let's see. There's a new song i don't really know if i can find it let's see i think maybe i can if i can find the author which is not oh here it is guppy czar let's see if i've got it and I don't know. Here it is. Let's see if you can hear it. I can't hear nothing on my end. Oh, I think I know which song this is. If it's the one I'm thinking, yeah, this is a good one. I so far, this. all of them's been good. Yeah, I'm going to play it again. I wrote this about, I don't know, a year or more ago. That's pretty cool. Can you hear it? Nope, still can't hear it on my end. Can any of you guys in the chat hear it? I don't know how to get this live. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Let me, um, let's see. Yeah, I just don't, well, let me, let me see if I can figure this out. I can bring it up. I don't know if that'll make it work. Let's see if it does. It's a Discord. Share. You got it. I was looking to see if I could figure it out. <laughs> Can you hear it? I love my little yep. fishies as they swim about their home. When the sunlight shines upon them and their colors begin to glow, I am drawn into a world where my heart longs to go. I imagine scenes of beauty and feel the warmth of love. I love my little fishes as they swim about their home. I have traveled the world over but never found the peace that comes from watching my fishies as they swim about their home. My heart is happy and I am content to sit and watch them swim. I will not be alone while these fishies are in my home. When the sunlight shines upon them and their colors begin to glow, I am drawn into a world where my heart longs to go. I imagine scenes of beauty and feel the warmth of love. I love my little fishes as they swim about their home. I love that part. <laughs> Nice. 
Yeah, he did an awesome job on that song. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Really, really nice. Let me let me kick it out here. And it then stop screen. Okay, so where is up? Oh. Let's see. Thigh, thigh, bodo, thigh, bodo. Let's see. Hello. Are they there? Hello. Are you there? They're not there. Yeah, they I must have walked they, away for a I second. I think they don't have a camera. Uh, wait a minute. We're back now. Let's try it again. Hello. Have we got Hello, we don't have a mic for you. Have you got your uh, your mic on? Well, we see you. Who is this? Uh, there you go. Hello, everybody. There, I hear you. Hi. You're on MindSpring. There you go. Hello, hello. How are you? I don't think he can hear me. Can, hello, can you hear me? No, he can't hear me. I heard him, he, but he hasn't figured out. Yeah. He hasn't figured out how to do it. Let's see if he keep working on this video. Well, yeah, keep, keep working yeah, on we'll, it. You'll, we'll you'll get, get it. it together. Yeah, this is... This is <laughs> Games R says, I see the comfy couch. Yeah, it, it's a recliner. It's really nice. <laughs> and that's the idea. That's what I need to do is actually just set up a recliner. <laughs> really? G Gary Stein says he likes the cat song in Red Dwarf when netting fish. I'm going to get you, little fishy. <laughs> Winds aloft. Oh, take off the headphones. That might be. That might be why I couldn't hear us. He had headphones on. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know either. Uh, let's see. Anyway, this is we're show and tell tonight. So everyone is welcome to come up and show off your your uh, your favorite father fish aquarium. Uh, let's see, Michael. Tardlini says, may I ask, when you add fish to your tank, what is your procedure in doing it? Uh, I wish you had not asked. <laughs> I dump them in the tank, Michael. Uh, my procedure is to hold them above the tank in a container and, and, and <laughs> invert it. That's my, pr or if they're in a bag, I kind of do the same thing with a bag. I might get fancy and put the bag down in the water so they can swim out, but more often than not, I just release them unceremoniously. That now was good. Question. Do you ever take fish naps in the recliner? Absolutely. I, th I think I slept for about three hours this afternoon. I got up early, though. The girls were in here at 5 o'clock this morning, uh, and I heard the alarm go off on my computer or on my phone. So I got up and came over, and I hung out here for, for a few hours, went home, took a nap. That was around 9 o'clock. Got back here about 10, 30, 11. Um, then I took another nap <laughs> around one o'clock, and I think I woke up around three. And I've been sort of just doing nothing all afternoon. I watched a bunch of baseball, um, not games, but shorts. I like baseball shorts, they're kind of cool. How beautiful it is the, it is to contemplate creation, not not expecting something from it, but in Thanksgiving there is some 
purity in this craft that helps one acquire the eyes of God and understand his love. Amen. Beautiful. Amen. That's absolutely right. I was watching uh, the, 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 one of the most recent videos I did was exactly that theme. It was about a gentle touch uh, and about, about doing what needs to be done by learning, learning what needs to be done by observing and and becoming attuned to to the aquarium so that your touch is a very gentle touch having said that i set up a new tank um the one on my let's see if i can show you oh this one right here on the bottom that one i set it up about a week ago uh put a heater in it had it set at 79 put about 50 cardinals in it noticed yesterday or the day before the day before noticed a dead one looked more carefully and they all had ick so I kicked the temperature up. I'm now down to two. I lost the entire school. Of oh, no. Cardinals. I didn't see it in time. By the time I saw it, they were pretty totally covered. It, it's, the, the thing about ick is you have to catch it right away. They're small fish. I should not keep small fish. Because my eyes are not good enough to be able to pick things out quickly and easily. And with very tiny fish, I just don't see it. I mean, I looked at them every day. I, I was feeding them. I was watching them. I did not see it when there were just one or two spots. It wasn't until they got covered and it began looking for it because I saw a dead one that I noticed it. And by then it was really too late. So what I'm doing now is um, I've got two left in there. I'm going to leave them in. I dropped the temperature back down. I kicked it up to 89. The ick disappeared on those two. Uh, dropped it back to 83. Uh, it's got a bunch of... Um, I had ordered... Uh, a bunch of plants that wound up sitting in a depot for about four days. And they were mostly upon a Jatins. A big group of them were Madagascar lace. I put them all in there, but all the leaves melted. So I've got all those dead leaves in there. There's new growth coming out of some of them. I'm going to leave it all in there. I'll leave the lights on uh, like 10, 12 hours a day and just let it regroup itself. It's a brand new tank. It will benefit from all of that nutrient. I'm not going to put any more fish in it until it stabilizes. It'll take about a week. So by this time next week, we'll, we'll take a look at it and uh, see what condition it's in. There's no reason to tear it down and break everything down. It's going to stabilize itself. Uh, it's just a matter of giving it time to do so. So it'll be a, it'll be a worthwhile um, experience for us all to see what happens when a tank crashes or when all the fish die in it. Um, and you just leave it. I'm not taking the dead fish out. They're so tiny. It's a seventy-five gallon tank. They really don't even don't even amount to one two-inch Oscar. So it's not like there's a lot of bacteria that's going to be occurring in there. I put a bunch of mystery snails in, so they'll they'll pick up a lot of that. Um, and the leaves are going to provide 
nutrient for the for the new substrate. So we'll just kind of go from there and see how it works. Meanwhile, in the top tank, oh, what's going on here? Let's see. In the top tank, this one up here, is that the one? Yeah. I have angels, nice angels in there. You know what I can do? I think I can move the camera because I put a long wire on it. Let me try this. Oh. Oh, and, and Father Fish, we need to get the link pinned. I don't see the pinned link on here because everybody was asking oh, about the link. I put the link right. in there and I thought I could pin it, but it won't let me pin it. So, so yeah, let me do it. Thank you. Uh, Captain Bloom has been pen message. There we go. That should be it. Is it up there? Um, actually, no. This goes to somebody else's Discord called Everything Goldfish. Oh, really? Oh, that's the wrong. Okay. Well, let me unpin that. I thought it was my <laughs> unpin. I did it. Well, let me do here. I can do it again. I've just got it. I got it right here. It's easy enough to do. Yeah, I thought I could do it. I guess it just won't let me. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Okay, that should be it. Yep, that did it. Okay, Thanks. Good. all right. I'll make sure of these angels. I've got angels, uh, Juraperi, which is one of my favorite. They're little, but and that okay. is a, a, a white osphernemus. There are two of them in care. I think they're all no, they're not albino, they're just white morphs. Um, the Astronemus is the true giant garami. It's the one that gets two foot long. Pretty angels, oh, nice wow. angels. These are koi angels. And then the the little giraperi, geophagus. They're small yet, but um, they're doing well. Everything in here is doing nicely. We've got a stand of Amazon sword, some fern. I think it's Java. Uh, these are uh, longiplumulatus. It's the uh, uh, panagetin longiplumulus. Longiplumulus. I love those that. Amazon swords. Is that the yeah. huge ones that you sell on your site? They are. Yeah, that's exactly wow. what I sell. Yeah. Those are mother swords. They're um, beautiful. Although I don't see any... Uh, any babies coming out of them. And these are small swords behind them. So I don't have a food web in here yet. Uh, this is the tank that that uh, uh, I had the ick in. So you I just see hate all that the, you lost so many fish. These, yeah, these are all of those plants I was telling you about. And there yeah. are some, there's some new bloom or some new shoots coming up. So it's not a total loss. We'll see how many come up. We sold a few out of it. There's some in the back there. I see new shoots coming up on. So there were about 20 of them. I'm getting more this week. Uh, this is a, um, um, another. That's a sword in the back. These are another upon a Jaten. And they came in bad too. So. You can see they're kind of wilted, but there's some new stuff. So this is a tank that has not had a really happy start. Yeah. Um, but we'll see what happens with it. We're going to let it let it go and let it settle out and get itself stabilized. I've got two more set up. This uh, has green water. I'm just leaving the lights off for a while to clear the green water. This is uh, Alvacious. In here, and those are uh, 
an Anubius Nancon, the green in, uh, behind the uh, driftwood there. No fish in Those here. And uh, some stem plants down here in this tank. And another Nancon back there. No fish in there yet. I did put heaters in, so I'm supposed to get some fish this week. So we'll get them in there when I do. What kind of fish are you putting in there? I don't know. Whatever whatever is sent to me. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to get, frankly. Uh, Andre is sending me some. Well, we got a couple of people up. AA. Let's get AA up here. Hey there, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. How are you? I'm good. I'm doing well. <laughs> Finally get, get to show you, you uh, my tank. Good. Let me get you up here. There we go. Wow, nice. beautiful. Yeah, so uh, I started off with gravel, but um, I quickly learned that that wasn't uh, the right thing if I wanted to grow plants. So I added some aqua soil, but then um, I saw your video about capping it off with sand for the nutrients. So I got some black diamond blasting sand and capped it off. Nice. So, yeah, I'm, I'm slowly adding more sand as I go along. I just started doing it. You're doing well. It looks really good. Thank you. And you're thank doing you. it right. You're not uh, you're not creating any stress in there. It looks the fish look happy and healthy. The plants do too. Water's a yeah. little cloudy, but that's normal. Yeah, it gets a little cloudy whenever uh, whenever it's hot. It's really hot here in Florida right uh, now. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, my tank. If you can see, it's like at 82 right there, and that's doing it by itself. It's not heating right now. Oh uh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, it's, yeah bacteria. it's bacteria, um, but it's not out of control. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, it comes and goes. I figure it's just yeah, the natural cycle stabilize. doing this thing. It takes the tank aging some to get stability. Yeah, this tank's only been issue. up for about two years. Okay. It's got... um. Uh, it's a 37 gallon. I've got quite a lot of fish in here. I've got like about 39 fish in here. Do you think that's nice. too much or? No, I wouldn't say so. They look fine. It looks good. Yeah, everyone's happy. Yeah. No, it's a nice a... tank. It looks really good. And I've got, a, I've got nice. one more uh, one more tank here in my bedroom. Okay. Let me show you. Cool. Uh, it's a little shrimp tank. Oh, nice. oh, I love it. Yeah. And I just put a. A little female nerite snail in there yesterday. I'm <laughs> calling her Olivia because she's olive. I know she's a female because she's been laying uh, eggs all over the uh, all right, over the glass. Right. But I guess the shrimps will pick pick that off as uh, some. I think they food. probably will. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yep. That's. What's your uh, name? I'm Andrew. Andrew, thank you, Andrew. Yeah, Very thank nice. you too. Bob. I like what it's you're doing. Happy to share it with you. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye for now. Love that shrimp tank. That's, That's something that I'm wanting Don. to set up too. Don Ross is here. Hey, Don. Uh, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, I have some questions. Sure. Um, my tank, uh, I put more plants in there. Uh, how do I do this? Just turn your camera sideways. See if that'll work. No. Uh, Very good. Try it the other way. Don't worry about it. Just no. uh, that's fine. The tank look all right. Yes. Now that wood, <coughs> the wood in there. That's that wood is rotten. Should I get rid of it? Uh, the uh, water is crystal clear. I would not worry about it. Because they're it's starting to fall apart and cracking. Actually, it, that'll right? be good. That'll be good for the fish and good for the plants. It'll okay. provide nutrients. Now I can stick regular leaves in there. Yes, uh, and if you can get some wild leaves, like from a creek or a pond, that'll bring some life in. That would be good as well. All right, so just put it in a jar. Yeah, put it in a jar and check it out, and then put a little bit in. At a time, okay. Because I had uh, 
I had some shrimp in there. Right. And the fish ate it. <laughs> right. Well, they'll do that. That's yeah. true. No, so, it looks nice. It looks I really good. Fed, I think I haven't fed them like in a week now because they ate like nine shrimp. Oh, my word. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. So that's all I have to do. Well, good. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, then. Okay. Thank okay. you. Bye. Bye for now. Somebody else is here. Uh, Thad Bado, but he we don't have a he doesn't have he doesn't have a his camera on. There's his camera. Okay, let's get him up and see what we've got. Oh, can wow. you hear us? Uh yeah, I can hear you. Wonderful. There he is. Yeah. Turn your camera sideways. Let's see if we can get a get a no, that didn't help. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful Very nice. night. This was, uh, this is actually like the second fish tank that I've ever had. Um, I've never kept fish like in the past. So I found one of your videos. Oh, when, really? Um, yeah. When I was like, this kinda is looking your first stuff. tank? Yeah. And so um, I just kind of went like full, like to the complete, you know, extreme with it. But um, yeah, these these plants are from you, um, like all right. the stem plants and stuff. This okay. one, I'm I'm not sure what this one is, but it's like, it's already kind of breaking the surface of the uh, of the water there. And I got that maybe like a couple days ago. That's so. a Ludwigia, probably. Okay. Looks like yeah. Yeah. That looks great. Yeah, yeah it does. Proud Thank of you, Andra. I'm not having much algae problems. The only bit of algae is on the sponge filter back there okay. and on the Anubias there. Not an issue. Yeah. I actually, I kind of like it. It, it kind of looks like hair well, you've on the got top so of many it. plants in there. You're not going to have an algae issue. Yeah. So. Love the guppies. Yeah. They're pretty, one, aren't they? Yeah, this one's probably my favorite. That one um, well, he's is from a another pair all these were just bread bread from uh this girl and then um a couple other females they are beautiful yeah. nice on thank you very yeah. cool proud of you that's thank cool you. that's very impressive mm -hmm. first tank how long yeah. has it been set up um so i want to say since i think november december Okay, and then about I moved, four or five months. And then I moved from um, West Palm Beach uh, to Tampa. So then I had to transport it like three and a half hours. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, wow. so that, it, it survived. Everyone survived, actually. I didn't have any loss wow. or anything. Very cool. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I love it. Thank you. A doom pie suggesting you put some, uh, some shrimp in there, some Amano's. Um, yeah, I have two Amano shrimp somewhere. There's a, a oh, good, shrimp. okay. Um, he I actually got at um, my local pond. I was getting some some water and he just kind of came along for the ride. So now you're in Tampa, right? Yeah, look up the Tampa Bay Aquarium Society, it's okay. one of the best clubs in the country. Okay. I'll, they I'll meet do that. once a month, I think the third or the, the second Monday. I don't remember what day. Mm -hmm. But but the TBAS, Tampa Bay Aquarium Society. Mm -hmm. And go go to their next meeting. Okay. It's a yeah. wonderful bunch of people. You'll really enjoy it and it'll get you much more deeply involved in the hobby. Yeah, I'll I'll look into that. I've been trying to find some like local people. To, well, to that's a great way stuff. to do it because yeah. these are all really, there are some very highly skilled people in that club, really am, amazing people. Mm -hmm. So you'll get a lot out of it. That looks great. I love it. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much, Anza. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Yeah, now, I love the big tanks with all the little guppies on it. <laughs> oh, I know. So I'm Bado is here, but he doesn't have his camera on. 
and I can't do much about getting them up hmm. without the camera. So I'm going to kick them and ask them to try it again. A third try is the charm. That's it. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, we, the link is posted at the top of the chat. Anybody want to show off their tank? Come on up. Yeah, we'd love to see it. Absolutely. Oh, I thought I fish shirt. <laughs> well, I love that shirt, fish hugger. <laughs> I love that. Jenny has the the um. The one above my head is actually an apron. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're available too. Add more plants, that says. They're all on the, um, in the shoal or on the, um, in the store, in the Shopify store. You know, you've got a lot of different designs. I mean, there's something there for everybody. <laughs> oh, there really is. Boris Mortar, I want to show, but just, yeah, kind of worried. Well, don't worry. Just come on up, Boris. Yeah, there's nothing Maybe to be worried about. Cornwall wants to show us his cake collection. Come on, Cornwall. Get on here and show us then. Okay, we got him now. Hey. We got you. Can you hear us? Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Awesome. Hello. 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 Who am I talking you? to? Peter Thibodeau. Well, happy to meet you. It's nice meeting you. Thank you. Where are you from? Uh, uh, Easley, South Carolina. Oh, very good. Very good. So what do you want to show us? I don't have anything to show you. I'm I'm wanting to get started here pretty soon. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I've had fish many years ago. Is that right? Um, and uh, I've had some exterminators come in, and they did a good job. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I lost Oscars and discus and... Oh, my God. Oh, that's awful. African cichlids and... Oh. Oh. Got these and this, that, and the other thing. So I just kind of quit. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's hard to get back on that horse when you lose everything like that. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm want to I'm wanting to do a 36 by 18 by 18 tank. Nice. And uh which is as big as I can go. And um, that's about um, a 75, I think. No, it's probably closer to 50, I think. Is that right? I've got one right here. Actually, the one behind me, uh -huh. is, that's what that is. That's 36. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's about 55. So it's, it's a, I think, a decent size. It's a good sized tank because it got a lot of depth. Yeah. Yeah. That's as big as I could go. So um, I'm wanting to do your method. Wonderful. Uh, seems to, okay. Seems to make more sense than anything else I've seen. I, I got kind of enthralled with, uh, with uh, Dr. Kovac for a while, but. Then I saw your stuff and I thought, you know, you're right. Uh, his system isn't going to allow the completion of the whole cycle, such right. as yours. And, right. And I, I go for the uh, the uh, the notion of uh, of uh, letting you know natural. So it makes sense. Well, I think it'll be fine. I'm excited for you, and we look forward to it. Make sure you come on up when you get your tank and get started, and whatever mm -hmm. I can do to help you, I'll be happy to. 
well, I'm going to get my dirt from you and stuff like that. So, okay. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Well, we're going to look forward to it. We'll see you week to Thank week you. and see how it's That's doing. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for coming up. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Okay, Ryan. What's up? What's up? How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing well. It's my first time being here with you, but I'm a big fan. Well, thank you. Nice to have you here. Get yeah, I'm a big fan of your are. method and your, your thinking processes. I've got uh, my 10-gallon tank right here. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's planted out. And I've got a Pleco in there. I've got a Gurami. I've got a couple Tiger Barbs. There's one. <laughs> and okay. then I've actually got some strawberries and blueberries at the top. And a oh, how nice. Thing. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> blueberries. Like wow. Yeah, huh. blueberries are wow. supposed to do really well. And so far, they've been going through ebbs and flows, but uh, overall, they've been doing really well. Oh, no kidding. That's neat. Huh. That is amazing. Because that's a bush. Yeah. And then uh, I've got some Anubias in the back plant. there. It's hard to see. I've got it. This is the long view or the, from the, the short side. Okay, right. And then I do also have some saltwater tanks that you can see on the side Oh, here. look at that. Oh, wonderful. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. A 20 gallon. Yeah, I'm going to then... start doing some salt tanks too. Yeah. I've got a Where 10 gallon live? track tank. I'm in Huntington Beach, Surf City, USA. Oh, in California. Yeah. Uh huh. Wonderful. Are you getting, uh, are you getting your substrate and water from the sea, from the ocean? Um, I do a combination. So okay. I do get, gather some some uh, materials, some seaweed for my saltwater stuff, some nice. soil, and some sand for my freshwater. <clears throat> but I have, um, I've tried those, the, the little soil substrate they give you. I forget what it's called, but you've talked about it. And uh, I know that you typically recommend just natural soil. It's done okay for me, um, but okay. I might try even more natural soil in the future. Yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll appreciate it. Especially with the salt water, because it brings in so much biology. Definitely, yeah. That's one thing I've noticed. Copepods ended up yeah. just showing up in my right. system. I think thanks to the water, probably. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. That's great. Very nice. Yeah, I've actually I've had this the freshwater tank the longest um, for about three years now, and then okay. the salt water is rather new for me in the last like six months, but. That's cool. That's loving cool. it all. And fresh water is where I started as a kid. I kept a, a little goldfish from the fair alive for two solid years until we went on vacation, and uh, my neighbors ended up killing it. But uh, huh. I, I love I love my fish, and I love this channel. So thank well, you. Well, thank you so much. Happy to meet you, and we'll look yeah, forward to seeing more as you get along. Thank Sounds you. Sounds good. I look I look forward to being here and uh, propagating a lot more fish, uh, plants, corals, etc. So you'll see me around. Fabulous. Thanks, Ryan. Bye for now. That's amazing that he grew strawberries and blueberries in his tank. That's that impressive, is, isn't it? I it's never even thought of that as a possibility. Yeah, really. Benjamin is here. Hey, Benjamin. Hello. How's it going, Father Fish? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing excellent. And thank you so much for all of your inspiration to the entire community. Well, thank you. Thank you. That's very kind. Turn your camera sideways. Let's see if we can get a... a sure, a sure. View. Let me go ahead and get it out of the holder here. I'm going to do my best to try to hear you guys. Um, so your... Uh, let me go ahead and try to turn this sideways. Perfect. Perfect. So you inspired me to do um, a dirted tank for the very first time ever. Okay. Um, previously, I've done a 90-gallon with discus and uh, rummy nose tetras and some Congo Tetras in the past, and they did really, really well in a 90-gallon breeder. Um, but this is my first time actually doing a dirted tank. Oh, cool. So, yeah, so what I decided to do was um, I did the organic potting soil on the very bottom, but I capped it with Fluval Stratum Bio. Okay in hopes that uh, any additional leaching would be absorbed by the biostratum. Right. 
uh, on top of being a buffer. And then I went ahead and capped it with pool filter sand. Now in this enclosure uh, that you're looking at right now, I wanted to create an ecosystem, a self-sustaining ecosystem, hopefully long-term. Right. Um, one of my favorite fish is an African ghost or uh, a black ghost knife fish. So obviously a 40 gallon breeder is not going to be sustainable long-term. <laughs> yeah, but you could do with a smaller one. Right, right. So I have yeah. a five inch um, black ghost knife now and you might see the tail peek out from time to time. I'm still working on socializing because they are a very sociable fish um, where you can train them to consume food and stuff like that um, from your hands and get used to human interaction to some extent. Yes. But I really do enjoy oddball fish in many, many ways. So I do too. Yeah. I have a pair, a male and female pair of hill stream loaches in here. Very good. I have, uh, so designing this ecosystem, I wanted to have fish that reproduced uh, fairly um, consistently in captivity. So uh, we have endlers and female guppies in here. Perfect. Uh, I went with the tiger endlers and some female guppies that had similar patterns, so I can try to line breed for that. Um, but on top of that, we got, I have uh, a trio of Celebi rainbow fish. Oh, good. Okay. I have a trio of blue eyed threadfin rainbow fish as well. Right, right. I see them. Um, <laughs> and I think the, the, even though they come from different geographic regions, I think they work really well together in, well, in that color no, spectrum. Yeah, no question. Yeah. And, and nice so I went ahead plant. and I, I want to be as diverse as possible. I would put more plants in it. Yeah. So, so just to let you know, this, this tank is only two weeks old. Oh my. Oh, that's impressive. Wow. Yes. So <laughs> we're, Very we're, good. we're full steam ahead in all father right. fish, uh, in all father fish's glory. Well, that's uh, exciting. I yeah. Like so. I have some tiger lotus, red tiger lotus here. I have some locally collected um, white um, lotus lily um, oh, here. Yeah, over. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we have some Amazon swords. So it's a very diverse ecosystem. I have some uh, mystery snails, which I enjoy watching fall off the glass. I also have blue wow. um, uh, shrimp in here as well. Okay. And then I also have some ghost shrimp in here along with a banjo catfish. And I have a female and male African butterfly fish up top. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, nice. So nice. I've been, uh, I, I designed and produced a premium gut load for insects for the reptile hobby okay. that I make in house here, small batch. Um, wow. But what's really nice about it is because I, you know, my alias is Mr. Crawlings. So uh, I'm really a big proponent on the amount of insects that are found in nature that are actually I increasingly important to the diversity of our ecosystems. So, you, bet. you, you bet. know, we have fish that provide food for other fish, right? As far as ecosystems right. go. Right. But... I, I really believe that insects make up a, a bigger portion of that food um, cycle. Well, that's exactly right. And they need all of the, the, the decaying vegetation as their nutrient. The bugs do. Exactly. Exactly. So, so by um, occasionally offering the African butterfly fish, which I just recently got, um, I and you guys might be <laughs> might enjoy their names. My kids picked them out, but because they're butterfly fish, their names are Peter and Tink. Oh, that's and that's cute. Very yeah. Nice. So this yeah. is Peter up front here, and Tink. She's hiding in the back there. Um, nice. But they seem to mostly be. A, so he's got the um, a hook type um, protrusion on the anal fin. If yep. people don't know about African butterfly fish. 
um, that oh. that's a, a indicator of a male typically oh, right. and females have more triangular just think of it more like a dorito on the annual fin they don't have right. the hook like right. appendage fun so um, very but, nice yeah so it's been a lot of fun adding the crypts and ludwigia and um the anubius and and all in baby tears and all these other you know i got uh guppy grass i have also a i uh, i used a uh marine top uh mesh okay to keep the african butterfly fish in right and by providing more top cover i feel like the african butterfly fish and the rest of the fish feel more pr protected or secure yeah 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 so i have uh red root floaters uh the xl duckweed and then i also have the singularia no um oh what is it father fish help me out it's got the furry um yeah, I, I know exactly where it's like salvania salvania thank you very much and it's growing great and um right. it provides a natural habitat for a lot of the baby endler guppy hybrids along with the african butterfly fish very nice thank I you very it. much yeah your compliments are our music right. to my ears thank you thank you benjamin very much well look forward to seeing this as it as it uh develops that's wonderful Absolutely. I'll be posting shorts regularly on my channel, um, but um, I'll be following you for more inspiration and ideas. Make sure you get over in the shoal so you can share this. That's a good place to share as well. You'll be able to post little videos there of your tank. Oh, my God. I would love to. Okay. Take care uh, now. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye, Benjamin. Take care. Let's see, Lando is here. Jenny, what happened to you? Jenny went away. Lando went away. Jenny was here. Uh -huh. And she's gone. I need to talk to her because she's leaving town to go to a, a wedding this weekend. Oh, that'll be fun. And, yeah, we're getting a couple of things together. Let's see. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Mercy. Well, that was a spate, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And a half a dozen right in a row there. Are you keeping count? I just remembered I was supposed to keep count, if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, where, where are we so far? We got, a, I think, six. All right, I'm going to find a pen and write that down. I think we're, it's, I'm not sure, but it seems like we're at six. I don't, I could probably remember one more and I won't be able to. Hey, I'm just glad you reminded me because I've, I've I've thought of it this morning. Okay, I need to lay everything out where I can keep count. Then, right. well, by this evening, my brain had already forgot. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's all right. I'm worse than that by by a long shot. Oh, Jenny, get back up here. We had a couple of people up, and they. They 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 got um they got bored of waiting, I guess. I don't know. Uh oh, yeah. urban channel guys, anybody can come up. The link is at the top of the chat. Just click on it and it'll bring you right in. Make sure you turn the volume off on your YouTube when you come up so we don't get an echo. And we have Michael here. Hello, Michael. How you doing, Father Fish? Good. How are you? Oh my God! I just figured this out so I can get this thing working. You're for you. you're doing amazingly well. I'm, well. I'm looking at the bottom of your chin right now. They so don't watch <laughs> it now. You're gonna have you got that chin too. <laughs> I do. I do. Hey, hey I'm seven. Mine, mine's <laughs> older than yours. There you go. There you go. Hey, I I, I my my angel fish had eggs. Oh, how and wonderful. I keep losing them, though. They keep eating them the next day. Pull them out. Y y yeah, you serious? Because they were fertilized. I watched them. Yeah, uh, pull them fertilized. out and hatch them out. You can put hatch them, them out. Just I got a 10 them gallon. Jar, I... Put them in a jar with a little air until they hatch. And then you well, can feed them baby brine shrimp right away. I have, I, yeah, I, yeah, because the angelfish that I have, I, I hatched them during the COVID season. 
and uh, I had nothing okay. to do. And these are the ones that are having the eggs again. So let me give you a show here. I don't know. Can you see them right there on the slate? Where'd you go? Right here. We're good. Okay. There you go. See them on the oh, slate? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot of eggs. I know. I know. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I would pick them out. They're all in here, see? And I have them with the neons. I have... Uh, yeah, they're going to get eaten up. Take them out and hatch them out. Okay. I, I just they, take they out... They won't survive get, in there. Nah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Well, what, yeah, what do you think here? I mean, I had this tank set up for That's about gorgeous. 10 years. I love it. And uh, so everything's live. The plants yeah. and all. You need and, to put one inch of sand in that. I know. I just I, mean, I just started watching all your clips, and I realized okay. that that okay. uh, sand is important with you. And right, sand is important with me. It is with fish too. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, I have substrate. I have gravel, and I have a lot of algae. See this algae? You got there? beautiful angels. Oh, thank yeah, they you. are the gorgeous. Tank, the tank is wonderful. It looks really nice. Thank you. Thank you. It's, um, yeah, they're gold angels. I don't know. I picked up two of them one time at a fish store, and then they, boom, boom, they had the eggs. Wow. Too cool. A lot of snails. I gotta, Michael, I got to run. I got Go ahead, five, get out five people behind you. All right. Thank Come you. Come on. Yeah, stay, keep in touch. And keep I'll get, back. and I'll put them, I'll put them in that tank down the base. Yeah, yeah, we want to see the babies next <laughs> week. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. Bye, Bye for now. Let's see. Where'd Jenny go? There she is. Jenny. Hi. Jenny. There she is. You turn your volume on. I can't hear you. I can see you. <laughs> no, we can't goofing. hear you. Look her. Look at her. She's she's goofing on us. She's awesome. Honest woman. <laughs> Oh, I love it. It's a first that's tank you showed me your tank. It's really nice. Wow. I really like it. I can't hear you at all. You got your microphone just isn't working. It's not muted. It's just not on. <laughs> pretty tank, Jenny. Very pretty. All I was right. letting her know in chat that we can't hear her, sadly. Yeah. Who was just up? That was Lando, was it? No. Who was it? Patrick. Um, yeah, I think so. It was Patrick. Okay. I got to keep the decks clear here. Was that Patrick? I think it was, wasn't it? I, part of me wants to say his name may have been Michael, but I can't remember. Was that? Is that the tank? Um, or, Nope. I don't think that was the tank. I don't think it was either. All right, Jenny, we're going to kick you off because we can't talk to you. Uh, who's this? Patrick. Yes, this is Patrick. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you, Father Fish? I'm good. Thank you. I like your tank. <clears throat> yes, I hope you've seen. This is probably my third time on Yes. show the, the progress tank and so it's looking the big good. red rocks and stuff like that right right i think yeah, my I like questions that i have yeah this this has developed quite rapidly since i added all the plants and the obviously the algae has gone in there um i've added the um right now i'm looking at 17 um harlequin rasporas in there Okay. Maybe 10, 10 shrimp and two mystery shrimp or snails. Nice. What size tank? It's a 29 gallon. That's a good size tank. Yeah. I like and it. So, one thing I've noticed with the plants is that, and this is the 15, the 15 plant package that I got from you. Okay. Um, the tops of them started to turn brown on several of them. Okay. 
And there's a lot of root act going off of the stems on everything. Right. And right. I don't know if that's good, bad, or whatever. That's, yeah, it's good. That means they're growing. Okay. Okay. And so I guess just the next, I mean, there's a lot of algae on the front of the tank, so it's kind of hard to see through that, but. Um, I like it. What I've been feeding the harlequins is, is every two days I've been probably doing a bit of um, freeze dried blood worms. Perfect. Uh, I don't know if there's more that I need to do for them or if they're just no, fine. I wouldn't say so. Yeah, you're okay. Start building a food web. That'll that'll help a lot. Okay, I know that was it's my next plan night. that I was going to do, but I've been I've been very well. I, the the weather's been really cold here in Oklahoma, and you know, getting plant life out. I, I don't. You know, when you go and, and try to pull something out of a pond or the lakes here, you know, there's nothing living down there that I'm seeing anyway. So maybe just the mud and the water. Yeah, will create put something. it in the jar. It'll pop. You'll see it start to come out once you get it in the house in a jar. Okay. You'll be amazed okay. how much is there. Okay. So, yeah, once again, that'll be the next phase, I guess. So, this is okay. number three showing you. Look forward to it. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. He did a Landon. really good job. Yeah. Uh, Landon, Lando, Lando, Lando. Howdy. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Tell us what we're looking at here. Um, this is my um, five gallon shrimp tank. Oh. Very nice. Nice. Yeah. It has um, some orange and neocaradinas okay. and a bunch of plants. I have some mosses, Ludwigia, some crips. Uh, I think this is called Cabamba, I, maybe. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, a lot of shrimp. Oh, nice. Very cool. Very cool. I, I love your shrimp tank. Thank you. And then I also have this one. This one isn't as natural as you can see, but I bred I bred my own beta fish. Oh, oh did wow. you really? Good for you. And um that's a baby there, there, there. I see that. I see that. And what then, did you feed the babies? Uh I've been feeding them um when there were brand new babies. What did you feed them? Oh, I don't. Uh, you don't remember? No, I don't. I think I just crushed up something because okay. I, don't, I I wasn't like very um, into like vinegar eels or anything like that. But okay, now I, I or microworm or yeah, brine shrimp. Yeah. But now I've well, you got a bunch of them up. That's really good. Yeah. Good job. Thank you, Lando. That's very nice. Thank you. Okay, take care now. Bye for now. I like a shrimp tank. Me too. Yeah, eventually I'm going to do that. I'm going to start a shrimp tank eventually. <laughs> Jen. Hey, Jenny. Hey. Oh, we still can't hear you? No, we can't hear you. <laughs> no, nope, nothing. Still can't hear you. Can't hear you. Too bad. <laughs> huh. Who's this? Nick. Hello. Can you hear me all right? Hi, how are you? Yes. Absolutely. I'm doing good. So this is my first uh, first father fish tank. It's not super pretty because I had to wait a little bit to uh, put the plants in. So they kind of got a little funky. So they're growing in a bunch of random directions before I put them in. But uh, Okay. My beta, where did he just go? He just hid from me. Oh, he's just hiding over here. Nice. So I've got a just a, a dragon scale beta with some little panda quarries in here. Oh, cool. 
So it's uh, it's kind of a mess right now. And I just put this Indian almond leaf I bought from a shop. Uh, okay. I need to get a little bit more leaf litter in there, but it's been going since about January. So it's oh, all right. it's coming along. I, I got the substrate, this sand here out of the desert. Oh, uh, I went to a place that I go and fossil collect and I found some oh, uh, sand good. and I sifted out all the all the big chunks so I could just get the sand in there because I really like the color and yeah. these rocks are also out of the you desert too, some shale. Fossil. You could put fossils in there too. Yeah, oh, I really wow. want to. I worry they'll get a little colored, uh, covered by the mulm, but yeah, this is just some of the some of the yeah. shale I got in there. Some cool like striations and stuff. Very cool. So, I like it. Yeah, thanks. Thank it's, you, Nick. It's coming along. <laughs> yeah, you thanks. Bet. Bye. Let's That's see. beautiful Who's beta. There? Melissa. Hi, Father Fish and Dina. Hi, Hi. Melissa. So I wanted to tell you thank you so much because I have been watching for a few months now and I've done a few um, smaller aquariums and then I got this um, larger one and set it up today and I wanted to show you what I did. I don't know how good my camera is but um, I tried to do it in your fashion with the dirty tank and um, we literally got all the substrate, the sticks, um, sand, rocks, leaves, everything from uh, a creek nearby. Oh, good for you. Yeah, and um, we had to get by the plants, but um, and obviously the fish, but everything else we did um, based wow. on your method. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you Wonderful. so much. Thank you. You did an awesome much. job. Thank oh, you, Oh, I Dad. love it, I love it. That's so exciting. And there's a beta in here too, right? I don't know if you can see her. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, right She's in pretty. the middle. Thank the nice you, guys. One. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you so much. Enjoy That's the really impressive. Well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Melissa. Let's see. Uh. Do Sakura. Deu Sakura. Can you hear us? Deus. I don't know if he can hear us. I don't. Uh, well, we can't hear him in any case. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful setups, though. I love yeah. that goldfish bowl. Yeah, let's see. There it is. Gotcha. We can't hear him, but we can see him. Nice tank. Look at that. Yeah, it is. Very, cool. very nice tank. Yeah. Very cool. You did a great job. Yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? A lot of growth. Yeah. Is that, I wonder if that's a water lettuce on top. Because if so, that is one of the largest water lettuces I have seen. <laughs> that is impressive. And see it. Looking good. Thank you so much. Dang it. Nice job. Get, yeah, get your get your mic working so we can talk to you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, that's Let's beautiful see. setup, sir. Is that Leslie? Here's Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Dina and Father Fish. Hi, Hi, how are you, dear? I'm good. This is my 240 gallon. Oh my. Tank. That wow. is amazing work of art. Wow. Wow. Really happy. Oh my word. On Look this. at this. Look at the carpeting. My little eels. Oh wow. What is that? Monte That's Carlo? A, um, neon dwarf stiffidon. Oh really? Wow. And then, I don't know very, what the plan is. Very cool. There's a goby scooted by. Yep. And there's my one of my hill streams. Well, a hill stream, right? Yeah. You got some fancy fish in here, in addition yeah. to your fancy plants. Yeah, I just added ten SB rasboras. Oh, look at that! Ago. Oh, cool. oh, wow. And a couple Jungle of wow. uh, coolie loaches. There's uh supposed to be forty six neon coolie loaches in here, but wow. I don't see That's him too much. Red jungle, Val. That's pretty. 
Yeah, it gets really red under this light over here. Oh, yeah. Got some red lead weed here. Yeah. A lot of this stuff is from you. I bought one plant pack from you. Okay. And one plant pack from my local pet store. And then some of the stuff is what I had already. I have about 30 tanks. This is oh, how wow. many gallons? I'm sorry. No, this is a 240, but I have about 30 tanks. So this is what, a six foot? Uh, eight foot. Oh, it's eight foot. Oh, my word. Yeah. See, it's wow. Really, it takes wow. up this entire wall. Wow. Oh, oh that's magnificent. Yeah, and I'll show you my my uh, avocado puffers, and then I'll let you go if there's somebody else. There's... Oh, my. These guys are in a wow. 60. You've got some serious, serious fish keeping going on here. Yeah, I'm kind of an addict. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Hey, you that's on... a good addiction to have. Yeah, really. I'm are you on Discord, Leslie? Fish room. Oh, oh, oh. So. Oh my. Wow. Okay, you're living my dream right there. I just have to say that. <laughs> oh, I can show you uh if nobody's waiting. Is there anybody waiting? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um if my they flower are, they horns can wait. Right. had babies. Oh wow. Oh my. There's my flower horns. And right. they just hatched out some eggs. Oh fabulous. Fry are down there in the white checker things, the black stuff. Oh uh, yeah, things. yeah, yeah. That's the fry. There's they just hatched yesterday, so mercy. So, so the male is the the gold one? No, the male's the blue. The male's the, the blue, blue one. one. Okay. And the gold one is the female. Nice. They're beautiful. That's the one you guys helped me save, that big blue one. He got a really oh, bad right. infection and he lost his eye. But wow. you guys help me save him. He is so, stunning. He's a big boy. Here's yeah. a, a few more of my tanks. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. I've got, I've got a couple. So Pretty this impressive. Is my, this is one of my favorites with the glass catfish. Oh, yeah. And the, uh, I have never like seen these. I've never seen glass catfish before. That is amazing. Yeah, it's a neat fish. I'd love to get a big school of them in the 240. How, how real big are they? They look like they're about three inches. Yeah, almost almost four. There's one in there that's almost four they're inches. They're pretty big, yeah. I've had them for a while, well over a year. So, and then Very I, nice. I got some guppies. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, I love guppies. <laughs> guppies. guppies. Guppy, guppy, guppy. They're so pretty cute. Ones, pretty ones, yeah. Yeah. And then I have random bowls around <laughs> with stuff. Right. <laughs> you know. Where Where do you live, Leslie? I'm in Alabama, in Birmingham. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see. Here's a Southern my... Bell. I got CPDs that I raised in here. Cool. That's a little six gallon. Right. So, just some of my stuff. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Leslie. All right. Thank you so Fun much. Fun to see your to you and Fun Dina. to see your collection. You bet. <laughs> Thanks, Bye for now. Bye. Thank you. She has an amazing collection. Isn't that incredible. Yeah, it is. Well, let's see, JD, are you there? He's been hanging in there. Oh, I'm here. Hello, there you is. are. Sorry, I, I had you hanging, had you hanging for no, a long okay. time. I'm hoping that my camera is just needing to focus. Okay. That's not really doing too well, is it? It looks fine. Yeah. No, I mean Pretty the good. camera. Sorry. Little, little. <laughs> you're a little out of focus. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Sorry, but um, uh, I'll, I'll get closer. Well, that's, that's better. better. Yeah, I don't know why it wants to be so close. Sorry, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. We've been chatting on um, Discord. Yeah, I have been. This is my first, um, sorry I'm so shy. Right. I'm actually very nervous to talk to you. Um, this is my first tank. And oh, I realized cool. I, I put too much sand 
on the bottom. So I uh, did a test tank with some of the soil I was asking oh, about okay. up, up here. Because I was right. asking if the, the iron soil would keep okay. it or, or if it would kill all the fish. But right. yeah, that's... Ah. Yeah, well, you said I was obviously stressing too much, so I just gave it a go. And right. those are sitting on there because I need to set this one up now that I know what I'm doing after making a mistake and then fixing it, I guess. Okay. But that's all right. Yeah. Just keep, keep moving on. You're doing yeah, fine. Definitely. It's right. Yeah. Looking good. Thank you. you bet. Thank you. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> bye, bye for now. Bye for now. That was, that was a cool thing. Yeah, that's fun. Kim, hello. Hello, Father Fish. How are you this evening? I'm good. How are you? Doing excellent. Thank you. Well, Dina, you told me to come on chat. So here I am, sweetie. Hey, awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Uh, this is the 29 gallon that I started out with the uh, gravel capped with the sand. And it looked wonderful with the plant package until I got the electric blue car. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah that ended everything. Oh, my. <laughs> All I've got growing is hornwort and one little sword in the back. Oh, my. Oh. And then my daughter has a 20 long with a beta and some mollies. And the mollies has plucked her plants. The spectacular oh, beta. Thank you. Yes, that is. Oh, he was solid white when she bought him. And oh, this wow. is the 10 gallon I just done and set up yesterday. Redone it. Oh, good okay. for you. Okay. And I've All got right. uh, runny nose and some Mickey Mouse platies and, Mickey and two Mouse mysteries. Plant. Nice. Mm -hmm. And some plants. So, mm hmm. Got different plants. And I've got some wee little ones that I found in the pasture growing. Okay. I have no idea. Oh, nice. They're, they're rooting wonderfully. I got a small jar with some snails in it, and there's three little ones in behind them rocks. I found in a bucket of rocks and water. So we're going to see what. Cool. So, and then I have a one and a half gallon resurrection cube, and it is loaded with bladder snails. Oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Not, to mention my, not to mention my windowsill full of resurrection jars. Wonderful. But, uh, wonderful. I love it. <laughs> but I uh, thank you for all your wisdom and your experience and you've taught with us. Well, thank you, Kim. And uh, I'll keep it cool here in West Virginia. <laughs> you bet. Bye. Right, thank now. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's see who's here. Kristen. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. I just learned about your methods within the last few weeks. Okay. And so I started setting up one tank that I have, and I'll show you where we're at. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, turn your camera sideways. Let's see if we can get a landscape view. Yes. I love that piece of driftwood. Oh, that look at that. Hey, uh, that's a magnificent piece of driftwood. Thank you. It's a local piece that I found, and I tied it down with a couple rocks. Oh, bravo. bravo. And thank you. I'm waiting for it to waterlog. And so this weekend, it's this tank's about a week and a half old. Okay. So this weekend, I'm going to add fish and more plants. Very good. And then I have another tank, and it's my son's tank. And he's the one who has actually gotten me into fish and so after learning your methods and setting that one up what we're going to do next is here we go i'll show you his tank, tank currently let's see that's his current tank okay and it's got some angel fish so as you can see it's that typical you know Colored gravel, right. Yeah, exactly. And then when I learned what you do, I thought, well, we need to switch this one over as well. And like all his fish are doing great. And we've bred hundreds of guppies in this tank to the point where we got sick of them and had to just get rid of them. Bye. And well, so, all you really need to do is put a layer of sand in there 
and then start building a food web in it. Yeah, well, so even with down. even with the current gravel, you just cover it with sand. Interesting. So will the waste from the fish be enough to be enough nutrients to grow the plants then? It certainly should. Yet that tank's been set up for a oh, long about time. A, yeah, about a year now. So it's got a lot of nutrient in, in that gravel. So yeah, we to, yeah, don't clean it, just put sand on top of it. Yeah, we don't really do a lot of cleaning with it because, um, well, I mean, my son is eight years old, and so there's only so much he, you know, <laughs> right. uh, he does, and he doesn't, you know, which has actually worked out for us because it has, so hasn't over, better, right. yeah, it hasn't over sterilized the tank at all. And right. so I was, what I was thinking of doing is taking the current tank water, putting it in an empty tank I have with the filter and heater and all the fish, and then completely taking all the gravel out, put in the soil, put in the sand, replant it, wait two days and add the fish back in. That'll be fine. If yeah. you want to go through the effort, that's fine. I, I'll tell you what you might do is mix some of that gravel in with the dirt. Yes. Because that gravel has a lot of bacteria yeah. living on it. Yeah. It will be beneficial. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. And then one more tank I have, which is like a little shrimp tank. It's got some oh, ember cool. tetras, some shrimp. It's a five gallon. So the uh -huh. other two was a 25 and a, and a 30 gallon. This one's a five gallon and it's the transition tank. So I started right. learning about your stuff, trans started transitioning this one, set up the other the first one I showed you. And then now we're going to convert my son's tank over. So it's, it's kind of just bloomed into this huge passion, hobby obsession. Oh, that's and wonderful. so yeah, I'm I'm so thankful that I found your your stuff online because uh, doing the old way of fish keeping with sterilizing the tank, adding a ton of nutrients, like it's just too much. It's not natural, and I'd rather go the natural route. So I want to thank you, um, and hopefully in the future I'll be able to give an update on my tanks and where we've taken Absolutely. them. Absolutely, we'll look forward to it, Preston. Thank you thank so you. much. Bye for now. Bye. Yeah, it's nice to see. It's nice to see that she's transitioning them over. That's that's awesome. Well, can we hear you now? I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can, can hear, hear you. Uh, I had my phone on mute, so it wouldn't you couldn't hear me. Oh. So you want to see my tank? Yeah. Nice. I just set that up. My other tank was just horrible. I got really sick in November, and I haven't taken care of them since. So I'm having to redo them all. Well, that looks nice, Jenny. I like it. Yeah, it does. Got yeah. a lot of life in there. Yeah. I'm, I've ordered some more plants, so when they come in, I'll, uh, I'm will i going to put even more in there. All right. I, I think it looks it beautiful. I didn't know yeah. if you did that driftwood, so hopefully that'll end up looking good there. It will, I'm sure. I, I'm not very good nice. at aquascaping. Here's my other here's what my other tanks look like. See, they just look pathetic. They're just terrible. Well, except that everything's alive and healthy looking. The plants, <laughs> the plants are uh you got a lot of green there. Yeah. <laughs> green is good. This looks much better. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. Thank you, Jenny. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Yeah, I, I love that the way that she's just, she, her tanks are so natural, though. I mean, she, she's she got to give it time for everything to grow out. Right. She thinks they look horrible, but I don't think they look horrible. No, they really don't. <sighs> what time oh, is it? It is 8.35. And so we have a little gotta, time yet. We're going to go on 9. Hey, that sounds good. Earlier, we, everything was just so fast, so I didn't have time to, to tell you about it. 
But Flipman eleven um forty three five, he's did a super chat for five dollars and he said, Heard you spoke to my local fish shop in San Diego, hoping you can come here and do a speaking tour. Right. I did pop that up and I've been in touch with those guys. I'd love to do it. I talked to uh, um, somebody at the store today about doing an online. So we can do that right away. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, yeah, I would like to be able to. I've never been to California. So that is something I'd like to do. So if we can. <laughs> I'm not quite ready to to pick up and move on because I've got this uh, um, this business I'm running. But frankly, Brenda and Bobby have got it pretty well in hand. They don't need much help once in a while, but they they can probably do, do just fine without me. David Stem is here. David, we do not have a camera for you. If you can turn your camera on, we'll be happy to bring you up. I think he's probably working on it. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. You know what? Sometimes I'm going to kick him out and let him come back again and see if it'll come up. Sometimes if if you just start over, uh, you yeah, can get it together. I do that. That's the only with, thing you can do. Yeah, I do that with this. I, I had to do it twice a day to get online, to get my camera and my uh, microphone working. Actually, I had to reboot my system. Okay, so he's back and still no camera. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. He, he might have to reboot. I don't know. Maybe. We just haven't got you. We can hear you, David. Mm -hmm. You can hear me? We can hear you. You want to <laughs> talk to us? We can't see you. <laughs> well, it would be so fun if you can't see the, see the fish. Or see well, the fish. I know. So you need to get up. He's, he's going to... He's going to try to get, I think. Yeah, hopefully eventually it'll work. Just, I don't yeah. know. I've, I've had horrible luck with electronics lately, and it's nice yeah. to know I'm not the only one. <laughs> Just keep hammering away at it, and it'll, mm -hmm. it'll somehow happen all by itself. That's so it. How is, your, how is your fish room coming? Your studio. It is, it is coming very slowly. <laughs> I keep running in. I keep running into problems with it. Good thing is I finally have everything now to actually set up the tank. Just oh, about. I still need to remember to order plants. But as far as the sand, the substrate, supplement, got all that lined up. Just got to finish moving this desk in there. Which that's going to need either my brother and my husband or my brother and my nephew to move it. Because there is no hope on me moving this thing. <laughs> all right. Ah. <laughs> but I'm hoping that either this weekend or... Next Wednesday, I'll have everything done. Is what I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah, Thank definitely. You. Ruben Sunfish is here. Hey, Ruben. Oh, hello, Father Fish. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Oh, look at this. Oh, uh, so Whoa. I just did a big tree trim on this tank, and I replanted most of the plants on that area right there on the back. Oh, yeah. It's a yeah. wonderful tank. Thank you very much. And uh, I have a, a peace lily that's going to be going in that tank. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. And I also have lucky bamboo right there. Okay. That, that's going to be going on that corner right there. Nice. And hopefully to reduce the hair algae that's been growing. Right. They will. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just came to join here and well, thank check. You. Like your tank. Thank you very much. Oh, and I have a question. Uh, I still, I, I still don't know what this plant is. It's been growing really great. I really like the look. Yeah, I, 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 I don't remember. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to look it up. We do get it in. 
It's a stem plant. I don't remember. Uh, I will find out. Okay. Very nice. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you, Sunfish. You bet. Bye, right. Ruben. Bye-bye. He did a great job. Very nice. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, my. Uh, got a new video coming up. It'll be, it'll be nice. uh, live tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Uh, it's with Phillips. Uh, what's it called? Phillips Fish Products, Phillips something. I don't remember. With Phillips, anyway. It's a, um, a live stream I did with them about a year ago that had a lot of really good content about food webs and the importance of building a food web into the aquarium. So uh, Karen put it together as a video, and it's it's really quite nice. So that'll that'll be live tomorrow morning around around ten o'clock. It's uh, the the uh, tag is bugs in your tank. <laughs> Love it. And it's about uh, the importance. Uh, it's it's really a deeper look at at what a food web is, how it works, uh, what it's all about. It's uh. It's pretty informative. It's got a lot more depth than than we usually go into. Phillips is is pretty uh, pretty sophisticated with his stuff. He's got quite a unique operation, which the video doesn't show. We may do another one uh, showing his uh, <clears throat> his operation. It's rather rather unique. Would love to see it. <laughs> Now, I look forward to the video tomorrow because absolutely because I want to get a food web in each one of my tanks all the way up from the one gallon to the 75 gallon. I want each of my tanks to have a food web. <laughs> yeah, I've got it going in two or three of these. So I haven't kicked it off in the top. That's the main thing that's going to happen in that bottom tank. I think that that's probably what I will do this week is add a uh, uh, leaf culture. To that tank where I had the egg, that'll that'll get a whole lot more microscopic life going in there, and that's going to not only clean it up, but uh, it'll really build that that food web up, turn it into a healthy tank. Absolutely. Right. So how are we doing? We still got about 10, 15 minutes. We have time. If anyone else would like to come up, we. Still have another 15, 20 minutes. Yep. <clears throat> Let's see. I probably, I got some, uh, we got some beta eggs going. Nice. I don't know if I can, I might be able to show them. Let me see what I can do. This, I've got a longer wire on this thing. Let's see. If, I, don't, I don't know how far it's going to reach. But well, we're going to go back in the warehouse. Awesome. This is where the ladies pack out. And this is uh, all of my stuff. I love the way you've got your really tub set up. close enough, I don't think. No, that's as close, I think, as I can get. Let me go back and check. Make sure that the wire is... Yeah, that's as that's as close as I can get. Well, hey, thank you for showing us inside the warehouse. I've that's got a awesome. in here, but there are no eggs in there. I've got another one down there, right down there, that has eggs. That oh, that's one. so cool. Now I also have baby axolotls in here and in here, which I doubt we'll be able to see. I need to add another extension on this wire to be able to do this so we can get closer. I'm just within a foot or two of being able to make it work. These are some of the uh, swords that we're selling. So they're growing up out of the tanks here. Nice. 
And that's those really well, we huge keep, swords, right? The mother sword. Here. There's my brine shrimp hatchery. And some Taro's goldfish plants in the vats. Uh, we'll have, as soon as I get my boat out of here, we're going to put more, more vats in. So I have about 25 or 30 vats. And we're through. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be an amazing warehouse whenever you get finished with it. It already oh. is, but once you get those other vats up, wow. Yeah, it's gonna be impressive. Yeah. Oop, somebody just came up. Let's see, here's Dave. Hi, Dave. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. All right. I was on trying to get on earlier. I, I was on Dave, it said David's stem or stern, whatever, but oh right, right. <laughs> But I was able to get in. I had to restart my device, so it looks like it's working good now. Well, we got it. Yeah, we got you. Good. That's great. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share some tanks tonight, if that's okay. Oh, awesome! Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So this is my. Actually, this is one I tried to. I was telling you about a few weeks ago. This is that sixty gallon I got for like fifty bucks with the stand. Oh my! Wow. It, um, I just set it up like three days ago, actually. Ah. Huh. Um. So all the so the rocks and the wood came from nature. Right now, Ooh. I just have some rosy reds in there just to kind of uh -huh. get it kick-started. But this is eventually going to be a fancy goldfish tank. But um, So you can see I've got some swords and some uh, uh, some yeah. uh nice. But the wood... I'm sorry? Yeah, I like it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, So and the wood came from nature. So, um, But the tank's cool. pretty much brand new. That's why everything looks so small <laughs> as far yeah, as... It's okay. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, it'll grow out. Oh, nice. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Um, and I wanted to show you my, this other one. This is the uh, this is actually like a native tank I have set up. These are oh, cool. native species fish. Oh wow! What so, are they? Um, so I have uh, and some rosy reds. I bought those because I just kind of wanted to add a few more. Um, and but I have some darters in here, which are usually kind of like I only have two, but they kind of like to hide a lot. Um, and I have some red belly dace. I don't know if you ever heard of those. Yeah. They're, there are Carolina species. Yeah, yeah. And then I have uh, actually a green sunfish in here too. Oh, uh, cool. He's, he's usually actually right there in the middle. Yep, yep. So yeah, he's uh, he kind of he's pretty cool. He doesn't seem to really bother anybody. So but, nice. But, and then of course you get and then I got those striped ones. I'm not exactly sure what those are. I just they they I've got them from my pond. Um, I have like a. It's a pond on my uh, property, and sometimes it what looks happens, like a killy, like a bluefin killy. Maybe, yeah, I know they're uh, they're pretty, they're pretty feisty fish. They like to, um, you know, they'll they'll chase each other around occasionally, you know. So, oh. but I think he's really, I mean, I, I think uh, North Americans are really underappreciated. Oh, really. absolutely. You know, I love I love the fact, and those red bellies are, they're getting. They, I when I when I originally um, was able to get those, those they were. Less smaller than like your fingernail. They were so tiny, but oh. all these I've had these fish in here for over a year, thanks to wow. you. Um, so the, cool. the sand and all that actually came from nature. So I was, I saw it was in the bottom of the river, and uh -huh. uh, I've since oh, added good some. For you. Yeah. So and I added some. Obviously, all the plants did, and some of them did, but uh, but the wood I sourced from um, from nature as well. So you can see there. I'm sorry about the reflection. It's uh, okay. Yeah, it looks. Background. That's really impressive. Yeah, and this is just a little. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Yeah, this one's just like a little guppy tank. I have probably like twenty or thirty baby guppies in here. So. Oh yeah. And these, so then this one is the same. Like 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 when I first set these, these are like some of my first ones I've set up. Um, uh -huh. I, but all the again the sand came from nature. I just grabbed big five gallon buckets and almost you know killed myself trying to get them home. But yeah, right. But, yeah. But, Weighs a lot, you, doesn't it? 50 pounds minimum. Exactly. What's amazing is uh, you can do so much basically for free. You know, you can get the oh, same. Oh, absolutely. Just in wood and rocks and, you yep. know, and if absolutely. you get expensive plants from you, you know, you can really get, you know, it's like the sky's the limit. And the thing that's great about getting it out of nature, as you're well aware, is it's instantly cycled in like a matter of hours. You can put fish in exactly it. exactly right. The yep. microfauna and micro and Everything is just in, in, alive, you know, and I, I found it so easy just to have, you know, make it, setting up your tanks. It just brought so much joy and love to the hobby for me. So, yeah, I know. 
I really appreciate everything you've done for everybody. Well, thank you, Dave, very much. But I appreciate you letting me share my time. So I have more, but I'll share them next time. I don't want to take a Okay, photo. look forward to it. All right, you have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye for now. All right, Captain is here. Yar there. There he is. <laughs> Come on, hey, Captain. Let me hear yar. Arr. 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 <laughs> favorite nemesis, Father Fish, Captain Jim, who always does the Father Fish method the wrong way. The wrong way. Huh? As always. Backwards and upside down. Backwards and upside down. That's how I like it, Father Fish. Hold on. Let me get your uh, tasty uh, drink of my pirate beverage from my Father Fish mug. Okay. <laughs> Heard some young fella earlier on your stream say something about a uh, mean green fella that lives on the surface of the water called Salvinia, some furry little critter. Right. Well, I ordered me some of that Salvinia from you because I heard that the meanest thing other than Salvinia was duckweed. Duckweed, right. I don't want right. to my tanks, Father Fish. So I went to fatherfish.fish and I ordered myself some floating Salvinia. All and right. And it's growing yeah. everywhere, Father Fish. I got a problem. Look at this. I got a whole tub here of nothing there but floating mean green terrible Salvinia. Right. <laughs> the mean green machine. What do I do about all this Salvinia, Father Fish? I don't want any duckweed. But I, here's it. my question, though. Feed it to your turtles. I don't have any Father Fish. I don't have any turtles. Can I order a turtle from fatherfish.fish? You know what? I probably could do turtles. That would I be probably cool. probably could. I may well do turtles. All right, I'm lying here with that big old white right now. This turtles. is my second Father okay, Fish tank that we're looking problem. at. This is my better tank. Well, it's become a better tank. Anyhow, that's another story. But here's my problem. When you sent me that Salvinia, that mean green surface jitter, surface furry Salvinia critter. Yeah, I know. It covers everything. Yeah, sent me yeah, some of this mini Look at Salvinia, this baby Salvinia. Got, what's what's, that, what's Fish, red what's root? You got oh, red wow. root. Red root's cool. Yeah, I'm talking about this little fella right here. Yeah, when's he going to grow up in a big Salvinia? You know. <laughs> ah, see, you're right. Duke. Ah, we know what you're talking about. It's this a stuff curse. Everywhere. It's a uh, curse. We don't have a lot of time. I'm probably gonna have to go. Uh, now look, I got Salvinia on my hands. Hold on. There you go. Put some in there. Well, yeah. I got Salvinia in my father fish mug. <laughs> What's going on? It's getting everywhere, father fish. Uh, Cornwall. No. Cornwall no. told me I could feed it. He said I could feed it. This. What do you think? No, I don't think so. I don't know, Father Fish. Well, I know you don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to head out of here, but I'll give you another update. Story. Arrgh, Jim! Arrgh! Arrgh! Hey, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> he's awesome. <laughs> oh, he's got me laughing so hard I'm crying. <laughs> Funny stuff. Yeah. Well, that's a good note to end on, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and there's somebody did ask me to ask you something. Yes. Um, fish and things with Landon. He wants to know what's your thoughts on um floating guppy grass rather than planting it. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, any uh, any of those uh any of those kinds of plants do well. They do better floating. They're really a a more value, I think, as a floating plant. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's good to know. I've, I do it both ways. I've got some of them that's planted, a big clump that's floating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Java fern's a good one. That's mm -hmm. a floating. And it, it yeah, it's more down in the water. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of plants like that ferny kind of things that don't have roots. That do really well as a just as a floating plant, or or even some that that kind of lay down on the bottom. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, this has been fun. Yeah, it has. Uh, got new video tomorrow. We'll be back Sunday. I'm going to try to get together with the. Uh, the San Diego and see if we can't do something on Saturday.
uh, it'll it'll need to be during their open hours. So uh, it might be, um, well, actually, it's about a three-hour difference. So we'll see how it goes. I'll see what I can set up. Won't be this week, probably, but it might be. Keep an eye open. You never know. <laughs> Definitely will. <laughs> really. Well, love you all. We're going to go. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye.